if we don't confess our sins and get rid of our sins these sins will be a block for us we will not listen we will not li- uh, the, get the answer from the lord the lord will not listen to our prayer let's read deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 41 onwards sorry psalm 55 verse 18 psalm 55 verse 18 we read like this he will redeem me he will he redeem, redeem me unharmed unharmed from the battle that i wage from, from the, the battle, battle that, that i wage for many are arrayed against me for, for many, many are arrayed against me. me praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus let's read isaiah 59 verse 2 isaiah chapter 59 verse 2 let's read this word of god rather, rather. sorry let's verse verse 1 and 2 we read like this verse 1 and 2 See the Lord's hand is not too short to save. See, See the, the Lord's, Lord's hand, hand is not, not too short to save. Nor his ear too dull to hear. Nor, nor his, his ear, ear too dull, dull to hear. hear. Rather, rather, rather your iniquities have been barriers between you and your God. Your iniquities have been barriers between you and your God. And your sins have hidden his face from you. And, and your, your sins, sins have hidden his face from you. So that he does not hear. So that he does not hear. Bible says our sins are blocking God. because of the sins as prayers are not heard because our prayers doesn't reach heaven so the confession is a must before you confer prayer everyone really wants to pray and everyone wants your prayer to be answered make sure that you go for confession and get rid of every iniquity from your heart confession is a must if you really want blessings and answers from heaven we need to confess our sins and get rid of our sins God has given us a wonderful sacrament where we can cleanse ourselves with true repentance and get the absolution of the forgiveness through the sacrament of confession. Why don't we use it? If you use it, it is going to bring miracles in your life. Your prayers will be answered. Let's read John 9:31. John 9:31 we read like this. We know we know that God does not listen to sinners that God, God does, does not, not listen, listen to sinners. sinners but he does listen to one who worships him but, but he, he does, does listen, listen to one who and worships obeys him and obeys his will and obeys his will we know we know that God does not listen to sinners that God, God does, does not listen, listen to, to sinners. sinners my dear brothers and sisters we all know the whole world is sinners we are all sinners then if bible says we know that God does not listen to sinners that means god will not listen to any one of us but the same god who said god doesn't listen to the sinners has given us the sacrament of confession where you can get rid of the sins and that is why he is asking us to go for confession so that after every confession you are no more a sin sinner you are reborn you are born again you are a recreated person you are holy and then when you pray your prayer will be heard your worship will be accepted because you are obeying the will of god therefore make sure before you pray make sure that you make a very thorough confession of your life with sincere repentance we should not misuse the confession but use the confession with repentance you will see the miracles happening when you pray praise the lord praise the lord